with Adam's Tribe in the archipelago. I actually did a little island conquest on this recently, and it was very boring because, <laughs> well, it was it was okay, I guess. But it it took three hours and fifty minutes, so that was the thing that happened. Well, anyway, we are back with our lovely tribe, and I have a few things in mind that I'd like to do. Um, first of all, like, you know, get some of those swimming genes into our genetics, actually, because we are in the archipelago, which does mean that at some point we're gonna have to jump this large gap here, which means that some of us are gonna drown. I don't like that idea, so we're gonna combat that, and I'd also like to get the genes necessary to go to the swamp. And I'm not sure what those are because, first of all, the swamp doesn't have that many normal berry bushes. So what we do need is those lovely poison fangs that Adam had. And, you know, he's passed it on to all of our little nichelings here. So that is one of our goals. But another one of our goals is to just get all of our nichelings over to this one big island as a union because this side of the tribe has a little ways to go and I'm not gonna deny it I'm a little nervous for them as this side of the tribe is already very far along so I'm not sure to how to help them because we can't exactly bridge this gap unless we have any swimming genes which we do not so that is a list of our problems so far. And also we need more food. That's also a thing. Anyway, we'll just end the day. Oh darn, okay. That is not good. That is very not good. Let's say hi to our babies. You do not have any poison fangs. Whoops. And yeah. So we're just gonna focus on getting food and being alive. And Sissimi, er, yeah, you have given us a poison fanged child, which I'm happy about. So yeah, okay, we're doing fine, we're doing fine. Alright, so what we're gonna do is just have our nichelings. Well, uh, I suppose we don't really need to explore this part. We can just go on and jump this gap here. That'll probably move us along. So yeah. Our children of Adam, I guess, will just start jumping this gap. We don't really need to, like, secure this part. This is an island conquest. So, yeah, okay. Kuro, if you could get some food, that would be nice. Alright, thank you. Alright, so Lossie had a child with Duke Nukier for uh, Raduk. Okay, that's nice. Um, he isn't exactly what we're looking for, but we do have that home island immunity, so I'm not mad at it. Not at all. Anyway, so we have to deal with this side of the island now, and hey, I see you, bunny. Let's see if we can kill it. Nice. Okay, anyway, that probably would sound very bad out of context. Anyway, <laughs> we'll have CC just, you know, like, move over here to grab berries, I guess. And yeah, this group should also be readying themselves to get out of here. And oh, you know what? You're, like, about to die. It's probably because you have the lean body, and the lean body does not fare well in water at all. So... That's also another one of our problems. Don't have the lean body in your jeans, because, you know, it kind of sucks. Okay, hmm. It doesn't look like any of his children got it, so that's cool. Anyway, where was I? Oh, right, okay. So, we're just gonna get ready to leave this place, and yeah, you know what? I'm excited for what's to come. I mean, these people are nichelings, I'm sorry. These nichelings still have to have a very long way to go, so we'll probably try to rush through that process while this part of the island focuses mainly on food, I guess. 
So, speaking of food, let's, uh, let's grab some food. Yes, that is a great segue. <clears throat> anyway, um, yeah, so we'll start readying the troops. Come here, Knuder. Okay, I totally failed at saying his name. Come here, Kier Nuduk. Man, these these things are tricky to say. Anyway, Simmy, you can just move over, I guess. And I don't think that we're gonna have that many children anymore on this island since we're ready to hop over. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm not sure what I need these people to do. But, you know, just gonna... Okay, I know this is very island conquesty of me to do, but I'm just gonna get rid of some grass, because, I don't know, these people don't really... Okay, I keep calling them people, but these nichelings, uh, don't have that many activities to do at the moment. So, whatever. Okay, so looks like we got a lot of food in this turn, so we're just gonna end the day. Aw, sorry to see that guy go. I don't even remember his name. Okay, so see me? Oh, that, you rabbit. Oh, whatever. So we'll have Simi guard her friend. I, I don't think there's any, like, birds around, but it's, it's instinctive at this point. Anyway, we'll just keep chasing these pesky rabbles everywhere. Let's... Hmm. <clears throat> I guess since Kirnu has that lean body, he can't really chase that bunny very far. Oh well, Taku will help you. Oh no, you have a leech. Can we get someone to help him? I don't know if we can. But, okay. Well, they can help themselves on the next turn. So yeah, congrats Kiernuduk, you have been selected to be the first one to cross this island gap, whatever. Hooray! And <laughs> you can get some fresh kill from that too. And uh, Tavon will follow suit along with Miri. We'll all just get ready, it's a get ready party. Uh, can you guys breed? I, I think Miri already has a mate. Oh wait, he died. Well, G star K A. Okay, so they technically could breed. I don't know if we need more nichelings right now, because we have a bit of a food crisis. So, again, less babies for now. Less babies. All right. So, looks like Anala is a wanderer, but she does have some good jeans, like this swimming tail, and this swimming- okay, I don't know if- I'm kind of on edge on whether or not I should breed her, because she does have some bad jeans, like this eyesight problem, and she does have some hemophilia, and some infertility, and right now, a lot of our nichelings are kind of infertile, so yeah, I- eh. I don't know if I'm gonna breed Anala. Sorry, Anala. But we do also have another wanderer named Malara, who can provide us with some nice swimming jeans. And she does have hemophilia, but uh, I'm gonna have to consider doing, like, just letting her breed with one of our nichelings, just because she does have the stinky tail, which. No one else in this tribe has. I checked before this video, and yeah, it's kind of sad. <clears throat> Alright, Nunu, before you start going on a little journey over to this side of the island, I want you to pick the berries. Thanks, man. Anyway, on this side of the island, we have far less nichelings, unfortunately, and they also are getting ready to just, you know, break the gap. And what is this? Oh, it's a it's a crab it, okay. Alright, so he has made it safely across. I think it's because of his big body that he's not taking any drowning damage. Which, you know what, I never knew that. That's cool. Anyway, Kuro, can you make it? I think he can. Yep, 
Oh, you didn't take any drowning damage either. What kind of madness is this? I don't know. Okay, well, it's it's good madness, so we're just gonna ignore that, I guess. <clears throat> anyway, all of you guys are getting ready. Unfortunately, little baby Roduke won't be able to cross in approximately three days. So, yeah. Chop chop, guys. Anyway, um... Mary's the only one with a move left, but I think we're gonna keep her there for now. Ah, oh, no. Okay, that was the sound of pain. I don't know if my sound is loud enough for people to hear, but I'm sorry, Tataku. I didn't mean to. Alright, we'll have your friend Kirinu just help you out, I guess. Uh, you guys kind of look alike, but no, he's Tavon's brother. Okay. So they're gonna attempt to kill this rabbit, but eh, they don't have enough moves left. So, <clears throat> go on, Kir 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 New Duke. I really need to give these nichelings unique names, but I don't have a name, li an a name list ready, so can't do that this episode. Sorry, guys. Anyway, Miri, just go ahead and, like, swim the gap, I guess. Cool, they're not taking any drowning damage. I don't know if that's a glitch or not, because when I was doing my Conquest series, they all took drowning damage, so I don't know what the deal is there. But anyway, we're all just getting ready. And unfortunately, I think Kirnu will have to stay on this island, because he's got, he's got the lean body. And so does... Takirvan, and I really don't want to leave them, but I also don't want to shorten their lives just because they have a lean body. So, um, yeah, I think we're gonna have them breed with some of our females just to keep some of their good genes in the family, such as the f fertility, I guess. I don't know, do they have good genes that are really essential? He does have big ears. And I like that about him. So I'll have Takirvan mate with CC, I guess, because they have some nice genes on them. But I I don't know. She already has mate who is dead. Oh right, that that's the guy who died. That I forgot the name of. Whoops. So uh maybe we could give some of our other nichelings a chance to Pass on their genes. Hmm. This is a tough decision. Because there's also the fact that he doesn't have the poison snow. And I know I'm looking too in-depth onto this. And you guys are probably so bored right now. But this is, this is a tough call, okay? So I'm going to think hard on it. Hmm. Well, I think I'm going to have to... Because I feel bad. So I'm just gonna breed. And thanks to his kind of high fertility, they bred right away. So we'll have CC just go ahead and go. <coughs> All of these two. Okay, sorry guys, I have the coughs right now. I'm kind of sick. But anyway, these two will have to stay here for a little bit because they're young. Right? Okay. And yeah, Takirvan, you will stay here picking berries forever, I'm sorry. Same with you, Kirnu. You're both fairly young, which kind of sucks, but that's what you get for being careless with your genes. Anyway, Miko can make her way over here, and these two ladies will go too. Um, I think one of you should, well, I don't know, because these guys... I should definitely put- okay, I'm like all over the place today, but I should definitely put medium body in their genes, because even though it's kind of a lame mutation to have, I don't really want the lean body. So, yeah. Okay. Um, what's the next one? I'll just put in horns. And for Cece, she's already got her mutations. I haven't bred Kirnu, but I'll just put in his mutations right now. 
eyesight and patterning well hmm okay now I have to like think about stuff again I think I'm just gonna give him patterning because <clears throat> Malara oh wait can you guys even breed <sighs> okay you can't plan B do I even have a plan B yes it's called Miko Miko does not have uh, like the lean body either so that's cool okay guys so just get ready to go ahead <clears throat> okay so now that we've got that side of the island done we'll just go ahead with the this lot here and you guys shall make your way up this large island and you know jump ship yada 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 <clears throat> okay so we'll have these guys just kind of you know be exist and yeah okay so other niche slings swim more niche slings also swim hmm pesky bundles okay so now that this is all in order I think we don't have any moves left oh who has the parasite oh okay it was just them okay so let's just end the day cool so now that we have our whole crowd around I'm gonna move Kirnu over to this tree where, where he and his friend Kirvan can exist forever till they die. Sorry guys, but you guys have lean body and I don't feel like you guys just wasting away your lives in the waters. Anyway, Miri, you can just, well all of you can just kind of be here. Ooh. Alright, so food crisis aside, we got some nichelings to swim. Yes. And actually, Sasemi, I want you to have more children, because Nunu and Van Kier are both pretty good. So, Kunuduk. Is Kunuduk alive? Hold on. Yeah, he is. Okay, well, where is he? There he is. We'll have you two breed, I guess. And yeah, so. I'll have more niche slings start jumping ship. Right, you two youngsters have to stay here. Oh, right, Anola has that swimming tail, so she can just go right ahead. Okay, so I'm not sure if I want to have more niche slings stay back just because, I don't, I don't know, there's just a bunch of niche slings that I don't think are completely necessary, but, eh, like Tataku, I mean, you do have that home island immunity, but, well, hmm, okay, well, I'll just have all of them exist around in this island, because, uh, you know, just, eh. Anyway, to cure Vaughn, we're gonna have you crack open acorns with your friend Kirnu. So have fun, guys, because that's what you're gonna be doing for the rest of your lives. Yep. Okay, so Malara. Oh, <laughs> what are these jeans for? Okay, so it's just water about just water body and whatever. Alright, so we know that we got the water body, but what else did we get? Oh wait, I just I just saw it. Okay, we got the gills. That's cool, but I don't know if we want to use it because our nichelings have a lot of problems and I know for a fact that we're not going to use gills because we need those poison banks, but it would be nice for the water body the, oh god i'm so bad at speech for the water body to come into play but unfortunately 
that's all we have for today, and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, because it sure is good to be back. See you guys next time. Goodbye! Thank you.